What does a $2,000 motherboard look like? Is it a data center motherboard with like multiple sockets, a million PCI Express lanes, or is it some kind of exotic, super amazing one-off or anything like that? Ooh, Ooh yeah, have some like precious gems in there. Yeah, like audio quest cables. Anyway. <laughs> okay, they don't have gems in them, but they've got like, so we're, we're fully silver. And it's like, okay, cool. But it doesn't justify the price. Anyway, another thing that may not justify the price. <laughs> the MSI Z690 Godlike. And uh, this is probably the biggest box. Like you could fit like a 17 inch or maybe even like a 20 inch laptop in here. This is honestly pretty ridiculous. And there's not a whole lot on the box either. Like it's just the front side is pretty much the most that's on here. The side just says, God like. And uh, on the other side, we just got, oh, uh, we got some specs. Uh, it, I don't need to like squint or like lean in or anything like that. The font is just big enough. It supports 12th gen core processors. Yep. LGA 1700, two PCI Express 5.0 X16 slots, one PCI Express 4.0 X16 slot, two Thunderbolt 4 type C ports, input for mini display port, so you can actually get display out on these, six set of six gigabit per second ports for a motherboard that says godlike, I expect 69 if you wanna be nice about it. It's also got an Aquantia 10 gigabit NIC built in. That is pretty spicy. And you've also got Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, and eight channel audio with Audio Boost 5 HD. I'm not sure what that's all about. Oh yeah, and this thing comes with memory and liquid cooling in the box. Andy, yes. I got one question. What's your question? Is it godlike? We're gonna find out. Let's see if I can open this without hitting the microphone. Oh, oh, it just cleared it. <laughs> this is so unwieldy. So this is just there to hold the motherboard in. Oh, so this isn't, I thought this was like just an outer box with other boxes inside, but no, this is all just packed in here. That's interesting. Okay, so let's just pointedly avoid the motherboard for now. What do they give you in here? What is this? Is this a keychain? It's really long. Yeah, it looks almost like something that you'd hang from your mirror. Oh, oh yeah, dog tag, dude. Yeah, it's, it's like from my time in the dragon army. <laughs> All right, so here's the memory. Kingston Fury Beast, DDR5, MSI Meg, Z690 Godlike are ready to reveal a new dimension of performance. Sure, I wonder what this is for. Probably for the motherboard itself. And there's a good reason for it. You'll want to use it. All right, so what is, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this is a sponsored video. They're never gonna sponsor us again. I, I'm just, I will destroy you. All right, let's get the motherboard out of here and then completely ignore it for now. We're looking at the accessories. Pretty standard MSI shark fin Wi-Fi antenna. It's got a pretty thick cable. Looks pretty, it seems pretty nice. I have no idea what's going on with these. What are, what is all of this? What is this? Does this come with its own test bench? Is that what that is? Uh, let's see. Join the MSI reward program. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, these are little stickers to, you know, kind of label your wires. That's actually a good idea. We should do that for ltdstore.com. This product was created with great passion and we hope you could enjoy it, but you couldn't because there's only like a hundred of these. So, uh huh? What? This so is what they call the DIY stand set. It's an easy way to build a test bench. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? These aren't mentioned in that though. What are these? Man. Motherboard accessories. They're in the, oh, they're in a nice little bag. That keeps them nice and organized. Ah, this is the cooler, I think. So we got bracket and screws, the water block head. The radiator. It's, um, yeah, that is, that is sizable. So much stuff. Radiator fans. Okay, so you got the three fans in here. These are heavy. Silent Gale. And of course, we've got some uh, nice stickers. Oh man, there's just so much stuff. It's exploding everywhere. All right, let's close it up. Let's get it out of there. This thing is chonky. 6.832 pounds. Oh, it smells. We should make a cologne that basically just smells like electronic, like new electronics. Don't need to worry about ESD on this guy, except around here, I guess. Everything from 
here over to here looks relatively normal. The VRM cooler is very beefy with this kind of wavy pattern on the back. I don't know if you can kind of, you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. It's weird, but I like it. It's visually pleasing. That's how it's so heavy. It's just covered in metal. And then we've got a rather sizable assortment of ports on the, on the side here. Where do I begin? There's a 10 gig ethernet port here. It's powered by a Quantia chipset. Mini display port in for your Thunderbolt. Plenty of USB 3. It's a 2.5 gig ethernet. Of course, we've got the whole 7.1 channel audio thing going. It's weird that motherboards still have toast link, isn't it? It's got a party trick. This thing comes off. This is a little touch screen. It does come with a uh, little cable that you can plug in over here, right here. Yeah, this this one that says like, uh, what is it? M, M Vision, which I'm not sure why they call it M Vision. So it just kind of slots in like that. You can use it inside the computer if that's your jam or on your test bench. Personally, I don't think the motherboard looks all that good with it missing, but it does say a little thing down there. One board to rule them all. Godlike. That is an RGB connector for Corsair. You can use standard addressable RGB with MSI's Mystic Light, or you can just straight up use Corsair's. You don't need to have their fancy commander. It was great. There's a lot of stuff that's covered with these peels. Should I? But we only peel on your power. True. There are three PCI Express slots in this motherboard, situated such that you could SLI triple slot cards, so like RTX 3090s, if you so chose. This bottom slot, I am, I only see solder balls underneath the socket for I think 8X, but that's still a lot more than you might expect out of this, considering how many M.2 slots we have here. There's so much tall stuff on this motherboard that it's actually kind of difficult for me to see in this light. Okay, so yeah, there's a M.2 slot there. So here's another 110 millimeter underneath this here, 80 millimeter. It's all using bandwidth from the chipset. They have, I think a switch chip on here that makes it so that it's possible for this stuff to be split up the way it is. These are opposing there. It's a frankly ridiculous amount of M.2 expansion. This is this is basically the no compromise. Like, I mean, there's 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 so much power delivery. Just just look at that. Usually when you have a lot of features in a motherboard like this, so there's always a compromise. In this case, you're giving up in your wallet. And I mean, obviously you're not gonna buy it. And maybe it is stupid but I want it. And it's together. These stands are not as stable as I would like. Apparently they are more stable if you have a fan there, but there are still six of them and there's only four holes in a fan. So let's get to peeling. Oh yeah. Ooh. No, not <laughs> oh, look at your face. Oh, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit shy. There we go. Oh man, there's fingerprints all over it already. All right, so it's got power now. This little guy is separate from the motherboard. We could plug it into one of the external ports as well. This looks like it. Nope, that's a display port. There we go. Yay, there we go. I'm not sure why it sounds like a tiger, but I mean, I, I don't know what a dragon sounds like, do you? Okay, so what can I touch here? So we got CPU clock plus or minus. Okay, you can use it as a timer. Please download MSI Center to enable functions. Okay, cool. Got a calculator here, is that, that what that is? Why? There we go. Okay, so I'm getting a live readout of the BIOS up there in the top. We're at 98 right now, B4. Graphics card error, please check graphics card. Excuse me? That's weird. Let's have a look through the BIOS here. It's a pretty standard MSI quick BIOS. It does have the nice uh, dragon in the middle though. And this motherboard should be pretty good for overclocking. Like it's it's got a 20 phase power delivery for the CPU, kind of bonkers. These are beta functions like NVMe SSD self-test and SRIOV support. That doesn't sound right, but sure. Uh, let's just get into Windows and see what the software has to offer us. Windows update. Oh, it's like the, the whole advanced section is hidden behind that now. I can like, use this to bump up the CPU clock, I guess. Okay, that added 50 megahertz. 
I don't know. This is part of why living on the bleeding edge isn't always the best thing. So there's gonna be a few hundred of these in the world. And honestly, I don't suggest that you buy one. But MSI sponsored this video, not to look at that specifically, but to kind of contrast it against a more reasonable motherboard that they have here. Now, I'm not gonna do the full unboxing of this here, but the Meg Z690 Ace is much more reasonably priced at around, well, $600, I think, which is still a lot, but you're getting a lot of the functionality, the base functionality that's in this motherboard in this package. And uh, the box is significantly smaller too. Real gold leaf? It still has pretty much identical I.O. So you're not really missing out on anything. It's got the Thunderbolt ports, the mini display port inputs, all the USBs, the Wi-Fi. It doesn't have the 10 gig LAN, but it does have the 2.5 gig and one fewer NVMe. And there's no integrated RGB, but it does have the pinouts for RGB if you do so desire. One of our editors, Mark, I think has the Z590 version of this specifically because it has the Thunderbolt with the uh, display port. Yeah, this is pretty much the same motherboard in terms of guts as this. And you should buy this instead if you're thinking about buying this. If you are still thinking about buying this, then there's nothing I can say that will prevent you from buying this. You know who you are. Everybody else, look at this or one of MSI's other Z690 or even B660 motherboards. Well, this is kind of weird. I don't usually unbox motherboards. Um, there's usually not much to say about them, but there's plenty to say about the other things that we see here on Short Circuit. So get subscribed so you don't miss any of our uh, more esoteric things that we unbox. I'm probably gonna shoot this this week, aren't I? Quiet on set indeed. Godlike.